A pleasant day, engineers. This is fieldwork number four, entitled Differential Leveling. Preview Differential leveling is the process of measuring vertical distances from a known elevation point to determine elevations of unknown points. The most common methods to determine elevation are through the use of number one, a compensator type, automatic, engineer level, and level rods, and number two, an electronic digital barcode leveling instrument with barcode rod. A thorough knowledge of leveling principles and proper application of methods and equipment will prevent costly delays and generate the needed results and accuracy. The objectives of this fieldwork are to acquire and develop the skills of determining the elevation of a point from a benchmark of known elevation by establishing a single setup. Number two, to acquire and develop the skills of determining the elevation of a point from a benchmark of known elevation by establishing multiple setup using turning points. And lastly, to develop the skills in using leveling instruments. For this fieldwork to be accomplished, the materials needed are auto level, plumb up, leveling rod, marking pins or chocks. For part A, which is the single setup differential leveling, First, the instructor assigns the location of two points marked as A and B which are intervisible with the instrument setup placed between the points. These points will be marked as A and B. Set up the instrument level on the suitable points preferable about midpoint of the two designated station A and B by driving the tripod firmly on the ground. Adjust the height of the instrument to the convenient level of instrument man through tripod leg slots. Check the bubble in the vial of the level if it is in the center. If not, adjust the screws by rotating clockwise or counterclockwise. Take the backside or BS reading of point A where the leveling rod is being held vertically with the aid of plumb bulb. The reading must be done to the accuracy of a millimeter or thousand of meter. After point B is inside, rotate the telescope. The rod man transferred the leveling rod at station B and must hold it with plumb bob alongside to maintain verticality of the rod. Next, take the foresight or FS reading of the leveling rod and again, the reading must be done up to the accuracy of a, of a millimeter or thousand of meter. After recording the observed values, compute for the difference of the readings to determine difference in elevation between benchmarks. Repeat the procedures for second and third trial. And for the last step, tabulate the data in Table 4.1 which is the single setup differential leveling. Now, Let's proceed to the part B of this fieldwork, differential leveling with turning points. The instructor will assign two points. These points will be marked as point A and point B. Step number three, set up the instrument level on a suitable point preferable about midpoint of the two designated station A and B by driving the tripod firmly on the ground. Adjust the height of the instrument to the convenient level of instrument man through tripod legs locks. Next, check the bubble in the vial of the level if it is in the center. If not, Adjust the screws by rotating clockwise or counterclockwise. Step number five, take the backside or the BS reading point A 
where the leveling rod is being held vertical with the aid of a plumb up. The reading must be done up to the accuracy of a millimeter or thousand of meter. Next, rotate the telescope until the newly established point designated as turning point can be sighted. Ensure that the turning point should be almost equidistant from the instrument as the first benchmark from the instrument. The rodman transfers the leveling rod, a TP, and must hold it with plumb up, alongside to maintain the verticality of the rod. Take the foresight reading of turning point where the leveling rod is being held vertical with the aid of a plumb up. The reading must be done up to the accuracy of a millimeter or thousand of meter. Lastly, Transfer the instrument to another location along the route to BM2 where the first turning point is still visible in the telescope and follow the same procedures until you reach the second benchmark. Tabulate all the data gathered on this table 4.2 Differential Leveling with Turning Points Thank you! and have a good day, engineers.